I'm Audrey Johnson Shepard, and, and here we are. The, she's from Africa, but she's an American now because she came here legally. I'm from South America, and I came here legally. He's, uh, he's, come on, come closer. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. From Brooklyn, New York. And I just met these two beautiful uh, couple. You're from in South America. British Guyana. Oh, Guyana? Guyana. So tell me your first name. Nathaline. Nathaline. Michael. Michael. Look in the camera and tell our audience what has the president done for the black Americans? Because only you too could speak about that. First of all, he's tried to save black babies. <laughs> Well, first of all, he's trying to save black babies. That's number one. Secondly, he's trying to get school choice so that black kids can go to school their choice, go to better schools, and don't have to get second-class educations. Thirdly, black unemployment is at an all-time low, even though Obama said the jobs weren't coming back. Thirdly, he's trying to, I believe, awaken black, not just black people, but the nation to God. I don't think I heard Obama say the word God in eight years. So it's not to hear the hear, hear his, his nicest name back in the discourse. So he's trying, he's at least trying to wake, up, wake us up, and however imperfectly. Now my Democratic friends love to point out that he's not perfect. Neither was Obama or anybody or me. Jesus was the only one that was perfect, but I think they think Obama's, my son say he's a new Jesus. <laughs> but, but he's not mine, my Jesus. That's what my son well, says. Well, you know what I'm thinking? The reason why a lot of like, people like your son and a lot of maybe women, a lot of people think this Obama, we got to give him one thing. He is a good looking man. He's half black and he's half white. So he's good looking. So they're looking at the good looks. That's what they're looking at. But what has he done? Breaking news, y'all. Breaking news. Barack Obama is not black. He's mixed. Right. So huh. to the black Americans, you don't you have yet to have a black president. That's right. You've had a mixed president. That's right. Now, he's an African. Just like myself. His dad was from Kenya, just like the Amen. I am more black than Kenya. Obama. Uh, uh, he had uh, oh, President uh, Trump doesn't have the, the suave and the personality that uh, Obama had. He's very very suave, he's very careful what he says, and, and, and um, it hurts President Trump, uh, you know, because Obama had the better personality. Maybe somebody else could comment. Let me get to Trump yeah. speaks too directly. Yeah. Huh? He doesn't mince words. All of us. We're very direct. He doesn't mince words. We're all direct. And, and people are so, so accustomed to people mincing words and talking flowery to them flowerly to them, making them feel good, instead of telling the truth. Yes, let's okay. Here is one thing. One thing I love about pre President Trump, okay? President Trump, whenever he speaks, I feel like he's speaking to me. We got like, some great conversations going on. He's actually there. talking like an everyday person would. Yeah, yeah. Barack yeah. Obama was a smooth talking criminal. Like, literally. But then again, though, when you have had people court you and train you on what to say when you go out in public, you would do that. President Trump is not a politician. He has yet had the time to be He's trained. He's a businessman. Don't a forget. Business we, don't forget this. Okay, I must say this. This is what I remember because I've never been in politics. But we all ask. We ask for a businessman. And when you ask God, he delivers. And he delivers the best businessman to save America, to save our country, and to put God back in this country. President Trump is also a newborn Christian. He, he, he really is. His wife is probably a stronger Christian, but that's what he is. And we are so blessed in this time, right now, in the 21st century, to have a man, I'm going to say, forgive me for saying this, to have balls, because most men don't have that balls. And he has a balls of steel, and he's doing what he has to do. Save the black babies, save our country, keep God in it, save our constitution, and, and, and create those jobs for all of us. So hallelujah, Trump 2020.